very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is the last speaking now of course i'm totally aware about the results of the weekly analysis and i'm totally aware that the pairs did not go as i expected and i will explain the reason for that later however uh, thankfully unlike uh, the weekly analysis the premium signals group did really so well uh, yesterday and before yesterday actually this these are the signals that we have sent on monday uh, we can see that we closed two of them in losses actually three of them we closed in losses i think yes pound chf also closed in 30 pips of loss however uh, the pound aud signal and the, uh, the chf gpy were able to reach 110 of profits reducing the losses of the three other losses uh, then yesterday was actually fantastic and I wanted to show you the results. Please look at that That's beautiful. All of these signals that we have sent yesterday has reached take profit two and one and We can expect some of them to reach take profit number three today So indeed we are doing really so well and thankfully we are surrounded by very positive minds who are actually aware about that forex market cannot be very profitable every single day and we can see these beautiful messages we have received from the members day with a good start thank you amazing session sniper entries beautiful you on you or oh, what beautiful you on points sweetheart love you always and we can see this guy here have made one thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars profit from the signals that's really uh, that's amazing really outstanding and i'm really glad uh, for his results and the profit that he is making awesome signals today after a long time <laughs> yeah after a long time actually not that long time it was just a few days we were backed up but however uh, the signals has nailed it as he said so thankfully you are back on track and thankfully the premium group is doing amazing and for that i'm really very happy uh, very satisfied with today's day uh, with today's results he meant hope you keep it up and thankful thank we are thankful for you sir and hopefully we will keep it up so if you wish to join extreme trader premium signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's talk right now about the weekly analysis and why it didn't work as expected now of course those who are following my analysis for a long time they know very well that most of these analysis are working perfectly fine and they are actually having very perfect entry and exit levels and what happened this week and the week uh, the week before is the unusual that is what we are not uh, used to see usually these signals are working f fantastic and perfectly fine now of course we need to understand that forex is very subjective to the news and the events in the world what happened yesterday actually they wrote an article about it about the dxy or the us dollar index why did it why did it crash yesterday all right so the us dollar has crashed yesterday because of the global recovery of the pandemic of covid 19 in europe and in new zealand however us is still the most affected country by this disease and uh, the investors are not seeing hope uh, soon in the recovery from the covid 19 in us which led to the crash of the dollar so that is uh, my point of view about what happened and i hope you guys can understand that i have here more than two years on youtube i'm posting these analysis uh, videos most of them are actually in profit and going very well so please don't judge me because of just one or two bad weeks i'm just a human like you and by the way there is a reason why i'm posting the midweek analysis video is to fix any mistake or wrong analysis happened in the weekly analysis i'm really doing my best here to help everyone and i hope you guys can always understand that and by the way yes i'm feeling guilty somehow about the analysis and i'm trying my best to uh, recover from this anyway we need to start uh, the weekly analysis right now so we need to go along with the market and see what happened with the euro dollar uh, of course as i said the signal was wrong here however we need to see what's going to happen with the us uh, with the euro usd now after this rising from the resistance uh, sorry from the support level right here we can see that the pair has actually followed that support level 
and the market has raised up uh, sorry has rose as we know guys as I just said the US dollar has crashed therefore we can expect from the euro USD to continue rising more and I don't think it's gonna rise above the level 1.1017 I think the pair is gonna retest at that uh, resistance and after hitting that resistance level the euro USD is gonna continue falling for another 95 pips now in my opinion the euro dollar is gonna continue falling actually after the resistance after hitting that resistance however I just want everyone to be safe and having a good entries and a good profit therefore I will change the signal for the euro USD to be for the sell at the level 1.1017 let me just fix that here I don't think it's uh, 68 I think it's right here yeah. somehow 70 yeah that's it uh, I don't think the pair is gonna fall right away it's gonna continue rising that is just a pullback what's happening right now and we can rely actually on that support level right here exactly we're having here a support level so the euro USD is gonna complete the formation of the pullback and then gonna continue rise hitting this resistance level and then we can start shorting the euro usd and this time if we short the euro usd we can keep it running until it hit again that support level on 1.0903 so hopefully we can expect approximately 113 pips of profit so the take profit is gonna be 1.09036 let's check right now the pound USD the pound USD is the same scenario what happened of course as I said the USD has crashed the USD dollar has crashed and therefore it it continue right it, um, it continued uh, rising above that resistance level of 1.2288 and what we can expect right now for the pair is also to reverse at that support level right here so we can see that there is a support level which was also a previous resistance the pair is gonna continue rising all the way up until it hit that strong resistance level at 1.23785 uh, I don't think the pair is gonna be able to, to break out easily from that level of the strong key resistance uh, levels here therefore this is exactly where we can start shorting the pound USD we can start shorting at 1.23785 and we can keep the trade running until it hit our previous entry level and I'm gonna set this strong key support level as my take profit level so we can uh, expect approximately 132 pips of profit so the take profit is gonna be 1.22465 and I'm going to uh, delete the previous take profit level let's check the AUD USD actually the AUD USD is going uh, as expected so far it's just in 16 pips of loss I think on looking at daily candles I really cannot change uh, much on this signal however I had to bring your attention that it might continue rising until the level 0 0.66815 so let me just adjust this signal 66815 is where we can start again shorting the AUD USD I don't think at all that the bear will be able to easy, easily break out from that strong key support level and resistance so most likely the AUD USD will be good for short at these levels now we let me just delete all these extra lines I have drawn here there, there is so many of them all right so for the tech profit for the AUD USD I'm not gonna keep it running for a long time I'm gonna keep it for almost 180 pips until the AUD USD hit that previous support level so the take profit level is gonna be changed and we are going to set it to be 0 0.65025 so let's hope it will work and actually I think it will work and now it seems a lot more legit than before to be honest now checking the USD GPY USD GPY signal is uh, active and it is going so far in profit as we can see the pair has respected the buy level I gave therefore I don't think I'm going to change anything for the USD GPY except telling you that the pair might actually fall a little bit more down hitting that previous support level 
and then continue rising so for the USD GPY the signal I think it was right and I'm not gonna change anything about the signal check the USD CAD USD CAD of course was a disaster uh, the pair has went almost 200 pips against the analysis uh, yes as I said that is that is because of the crash of the USD dollar uh, as you can see from my voice I'm I'm really not feeling good about uh, what happened however I have to bring your attention that what happened is not really my fault so many uh, traders and so many articles were expecting for the USD CAD to rise so what happened is really unexpected my friends so anyway we just need to see what will gonna happen now with the USD CAD um, what we can see right now that the, the USD CAD has broken this long-term support trend line and it has reversed on this support level so the expected behavior now from the USD CAD is to actually continue rising a little bit to retest the broken resistance or support the trend line like that so most likely as I said it's going to continue rising for the retest and then from that point we can see if depending on the price action what are we going to do if it's going to continue falling after the retest or continue rising all in all in general picture I believe the USD CAD is, uh, is gonna actually rise however we cannot expect that right away so what is the right procedure to do with or what is the right uh, action to take with the USD CAD is to actually buy the pair at this at the previous support level like, like that let me just be more accurate let me just zoom in and see that I just want to give you accurate entry as much as possible yes that's gonna be perfect fine like that so we can start actually shit all right so we can start buying again the USD CAD at the level 1.37302 and from that point we can keep the thread running until it hit our previous entry level take profit is gonna be one point wait a minute let me just review that again just be sure that's better okay so the take profit take profit level is gonna be one point three nine one nine one so we can expect approximately 188 pips of profit from the trade of the USD CAD now I don't know guys if you are skipping uh, these parts of the video but I had to, to I had to say to please maintain a proper money management and uh, use the proper lot sizes in your trades as I said the market is really not stable these days however I believe that the USD dollar is going to recover quickly from what happened uh, there is in my opinion no way that it's going to continue the crash uh, in this week I believe it's going to rise up and uh, be back to its uh, I don't know how to say it but anyway it's going to rise again it's not going to continue falling uh, let's check right now the USD CHF now USD CHF as well of, of course the signal did not work as well however uh, the entry was a bit earlier than before than it should be uh, now we can see that the pair has fallen to this uh, previous support level which we can see in the past it was a strong key support level as well now I'm expecting from the USD CHF to actually continue falling a little bit <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna start the rising immediately we can expect for it to fall for another 18 or 20 pips before we can start again buying the pair therefore I'm gonna change the entry point for the buy and I'm gonna change it to be 0 0.96387 and this time we can expect for the USD CHF to continue rising all the way until it hit that previous resistance level right here that is gonna be our take profit level so I'm gonna change the take profit to be 97306 now let's check of course the gold now for the gold I just wanted to mention my friends that the gold was actually going really so well 
it was going in profit for short time look at that i wanted to show you that uh, this uh, reversal happened right here 25th may we can see that the gold has reversed just 10 pips or 9 pips before my entry level and went in almost 140 pips of profit then again went down here hitting exactly this time it hit exactly the entry point and then reversed and uh, got 90 pips of profit then the crash happened for the US dollar which led for the fall of the gold now that what happened and by seeing that the signal now is changed for the short of the gold we need to start shorting the gold after what happened um, let me just uh, be more accurate that we are having right here a strong key resistance levels and right after this bearish breakout candle we can expect from the gold to reverse right on this strong support level as we can see we had here this strong support level and the gold is now reversing on it I'm expecting for the gold to actually make a pullback and then continue falling more down uh, I'll, let me just uh, fix it again I don't really think the pair is gonna be able after seeing this candle I just saw this candle right now so by seeing this candle right now I think the pair is gonna continue falling uh, it seems like the gold is gonna continue fall yes that is something happened just recently I don't think the pair is gonna actually uh, continue rising to the breakout candle or to the previous resistance let me just tell you today is uh, Wednesday and it is right now six o'clock in the morning and this one hour candle has just closed right now that's why the signal has changed because when I started recording the go this this candle was actually uh, as a, it was a bullish candle and therefore I was expecting from the market to continue rising and hitting that previous support however this sig this candle right here has changed the analysis so let me now pause the video and just spend some time to analyze the gold all right so looking now right now at the four hour chart uh, we can expect from the gold to actually after seeing this price action on the four hour chart we can expect from the gold to make one more attempt hitting that previous resistance level retesting the broken support level here and then it's gonna continue falling all the way until it hit the Fibonacci 61.8 at the support level therefore uh, let's better just wait for the gold to reach this uh, top of the resistance as I said so we can start shorting the gold at 1716.29 and we can keep the thread running until it hit the Fibonacci 61.8 at the level take profit at the level 1712.16 there that is where we can start shorting the gold again and I just needed to explain to you something that if you start shorting the gold at this level you can expect from the gold to continue rising a little bit until it hit the highest uh, level of that resistance right here before it actually gonna continue the fall so uh, shorting the USD right here we can expect from the pair to go for about 50 pips against us before finally it's gonna continue uh, falling and be in profit uh, I don't advise you to keep your trade running after hitting that support level hopefully if this analysis went well because most likely what will gonna happen after hitting that support is fr uh, from the gold I'm expecting from the gold after hitting that support level to continue rising uh, more up I don't think it's gonna rise up at the moment after this bearish breakout candle uh, that's why I think it's gonna continue look at that the pair is already falling by the way we already seeing the creation of the red candle and yes maybe the signal is uh, gonna be uh, not valid or you can start shorting the gold right away uh, uh, anyway I would I would like to advise against that better always be safe than sorry just wait for the pair hopefully it's gonna make another retest for that level before you can start shorting it and uh, wait for it to reach the take profit level in the end uh, I really uh, wish it will be a very profitable week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.